Kia ora team, nice to see you. Great to have you back in front of the screen and watching me on it. You know, one of the things I found probably the weirdest thing is in my bubble group, which I am part of a bubble group, uh, is watching myself talk uh, while I'm there and then having conversations about what I just spoke about. It's really weird, but hey, not everyone gets that privilege, um, but I do and uh, I thank you for listening and for allowing um, myself and Philippa and others who communicate within the life of the church to influence you in your faith journey. Um, and our prayer is that through whatever we're communicating, that, that it's encouraging you to press closer to God, to deepen your relationship with Him and allow Him to lead you in life and in freedom and uh, in the journey that He's uh, called you to with wisdom. Now, last week I, I spoke about the idea of, uh, of impact um, and the acronym Inspired Missional People Activating Community Transformation. And that sort of gives you a bit of an idea of why we are Kapiti Impact Church. Our vision statement, as I said last week, and, and you can find it on our website and wherever, is a vibrant church of influence and impact in the Kapiti Coast and the world beyond for Christ. Um, I've got the words mixed up a little bit, but pff, what does it matter? The idea is there. We're about impact and influence. One of the things that's really important in that is, um, and it covers often in the first word of impact, is that word inspired. And I just wanted to quickly talk about this, uh, this idea of inspired and then lead on into something which I'm calling the eight spheres of influence. The idea of inspired is, is, uh, it comes actually from a Latin word which is about breath. Spire, expire, inspire. Expire is breathing out. So when someone expires, they have breathed, breathed their last. Inspire is to breathe in. So this idea of breath is in this word inspired. And, and it's a word that's used in scripture for, uh, for the Bible. It says the word of God um, is inspired. It's something that God has breathed life into. And if you go back to Genesis, the original creation story, the first thing that God breathed life into was human beings. That we are inspired because the breath of God is in us. The Holy Spirit is in us, giving us life. You know, that's a, that's a huge thing for us. For as long as we have breath, we're inspired people. So the challenge, I think, in that is, is, am I allowing the Holy Spirit to lead me to be inspired in every part of my life? You know, you are to be inspired by God in a way that reflects Him the best through who you are. You don't have to be anyone else. You don't have to try to be someone else who inspires you. You are called by God to be inspired as you. He's breathed in you. He's created you to be an inspiration, to be inspired. And that's how you will have influence and impact. And so for each of us, we need to, to be confident in who God's created us to be, to allow His breath to empower us, His, His belief in us to give us courage and confidence to, to be the people He's called us to be. You know, it's so important for us to be inspired. And uh, so, and out of that, to be inspired in a way that is uniquely you. See, it's interesting, I'm, I'm different from you. I could stop with I'm different, but I'll say from you, uh, yeah, I'm different, and you're different, and the person sitting next to you is different. All of us have different skills, we have different abilities, we have different things that uh, inspire us, that give us passion, that, that breathe life into us. We, have thing, we all have different things that we find boring, um, like some of you may be sitting here going, sheesh, when's he going to finish? Uh, but whatever, um, we all find things different and we're all wired differently and that's important and needs to be celebrated and in our relationships with each other, we need to be encouraging each other to be the people God's created us to be, to be inspired in who we are. But one of the things that I think that sits with that word impact is the second word missional, that each of you are called to be missional in different spheres. See, all of us work with different skills, different abilities, and God places us in different locations, in different spheres of influence is what I would call them. 
in the in the past they've been referred to as mountains of influence or the key areas of society and and um, I've I've just taken that and gone actually for us in our church we're about influence and impact so these spheres are eight spheres of influence and impact or I2 spheres influence and impact spheres and there's eight of them I just want to run them off quickly first one is government second one education third health fourth business fifth media and entertainment the sixth creation the seventh family and the eighth religion or church those eight spheres of influence that we can be involved with in, in our mission that God's given us in our communities. See, I think that each of us, if we can identify the spheres that God has called us to have influence in, then we can be inspired in how we live our lives in those spheres. See, I know there are people listening to this who are involved with education. Either you're a teacher or you're a um, an administrator in an education environment. You might even be working at the Ministry of Education in, in, in Wellington or some other place. And, and you have influence and you have impact in that sphere of education. And we need you to be the most inspired person that you can be in that environment because not all of us are called to that. Not all of us are called to work in that area. Some people are called to health. And we need you to be operating to the best of your ability to be allowing God to lead you and inspire you in that environment. We need people in every sphere of our, our community so that we can bring the kingdom of God into each one of those spaces. Because I believe that the mission of the church and the mission of us as followers of Jesus is to bring the kingdom of God to every area of our life, every area of our community, every area of our society, every area of our nation and the nations of the world. God wants us to bring transformation, not just to an individual's life, not just to a family, but to whole communities, whole cities, whole nations, and eventually to the whole world. I see in, in terms of the story of, of scripture is that God's endeavor is to bring the people of the earth back to himself and for them all to taste and experience the kingdom of God. You and I are called to be part of that in whatever sphere we're operating in. And so I wanna encourage you, take a moment to think about what sphere of influence, now it might be more than one, might be two or three, what spheres am I passionate about of those eight? And give yourself to it, allow God to inspire you as you work and you do his business in that area. God bless you, grace and peace everyone.